let nobody charge you with anti-Semitism, and how do you do that? First of all, the way that I use it, starting with definitions, I don't know what a Semite is. And the way you should handle it, the best way I say to handle it, so that you don't get in no kind of sandwich play or no controversy, and don't have to explain yourself. I'm sure Mr. Young, he's been around a long time, he'll be able to handle it over the long haul. I'm almost certain of that. But I'm saying, the easy way to handle all that kind of talk, don't say nothing against the Jews, don't say nothing against Semites, don't say nothing against nobody except the white supremacists, because that's who you should say something against. And you don't have to look over your shoulder when you speak against them, because that's strictly legit. Okay, now somebody asked me about Semites, first thing I'm going to say is the truth. I don't know what a Semite is. And the way I've handled it down through the years, like I did up in New York one time when I was there at a, at a huge meeting, somebody said something about Semites. And so I immediately went the cold route. But I don't even have to think about these things most of the time. I just know what to say. I said, okay, I want somebody to tell me, before we start getting into a long argument, what is a Semite? And about five people jumped up and started to say something. And I said, wait a minute. Nobody should answer this question except a person who is one. The five people sat down immediately. <laughs> now it's about, I guess it was around a thousand people in that room. Everything got quiet. I said, well, I'm waiting. You know, will the real semi please stand up? So we can, everybody in this room can find out what a semi is, because then I asked some questions, two other questions. What does a semi do? You know? See, I don't want to know too much about what you are. I want to know what you do. Because if what you do has something to do with me, I want to know what that is. That's logic, right? Anybody walking around on the planet, the first thing you want to know really about them at the bottom line at the end of the day, first and last thing, is what do they have to do with you? How is what they're doing going to affect you? Okay? See, I don't care what a Semite is, you know? except if it has something to do with me. You know, Mr. Semite, who are you? You know, what do you have anything to do with me? Well, if the person says, yes, I have something to do with you, then I ask the logical question, what? How is whatever you do going to affect me? Whatever it is. I don't even know what it is. I don't even know who you are. And that's how you approach anything when somebody approaches you with asking you about anybody. You just say, well, wait a minute. First of all, whoever you're talking about, I want to hear it from them. So I want to be able to say that I got it from them. Whoever you're talking about. See what I mean? So I said, Did, will the real Semite please stand up? You know, anybody who's a Semite. Anybody in the room who's a Semite. Everybody keeps talking about Semitism, anti-Semitism, Semites. Well, if we got one, you know, I heard that there are some in New York. So, will a real Semite please stand up and say what a Semite is and then tell me what a Semite does in all areas of activity? Economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. And then the third question is, okay, all the things that you do, sir or ma'am, how does that affect me? or maybe the rest of the people in here, and just spell it out. And then everybody's on the same page, you know, before everybody starts getting hot under the collar and start talking about this and that and whatnot. Codification is about being exact about everything you do and everything that you say, all right? That's how you handle it.